morning, Idaho 544 now on your Thursday morning. And depending on where you're at, you're seeing very different conditions stretching all across the gym state this morning because of the low pressure system that made its way through last night. Now, it is well to the east of us, at least the center of it. You can kind of see that right over, we'll call it central uh, eastern Idaho. But what we're seeing here in the Treasure Valley, still some very light showers that are wrapping through along I-84. Light scattered showers at best, but some snowfall still sticking around in the West Central Mountains. I'll show you where that center of the low pressure center is and we know that the flow around the low goes in this counterclockwise rotation. So for a little while longer, we're going to continue to see some of that moisture wrapping around the back edge of that low pressure system. Showers still likely until we hit about mid morning here in the valley locations and then we should dry up. But behind it, we will see some very windy conditions blasting in. So there's that low pressure system moving through, dropping the snow, to the snow levels down to about 5,000 thousand feet in elevation. That's why McCall, Donnelly, Cascade stepping out your door this morning you might see some white flakes falling from the sky. But then as the windy conditions come around the back side of that low pressure system, the snow levels will actually go up to about 6,000 feet. And by tomorrow morning, we're clear all across the gym state. It still is quite cool with a cool pool of air that's sticking around the northwest for a couple of days. Let's talk about those winds, though. Already into the teens in the Boise area for this morning, and they just keep picking up. Take a look at this 25 mile per hour sustained winds and twin falls by 1030 this morning. So if you are headed down from the tre Treasure Valley down to the Magic Valley today, then you do want to pay attention to that car bobbling around a little bit on on the freeway. That might be the case. But then as we head into tonight, it does wrap up the windy conditions do. And then by tomorrow, we're looking at light winds. So Treasure Valley forecast today. Get through today. It will look much better for the weekend. Windy conditions getting windier as the day goes on. Highs still about 15 degrees below average in those mid to upper 50s in the Magic Valley. Showers will last a little bit longer as the Magic Valley is further to the east. It's closer to the low pressure system that's still sliding off to the east. West Central Boise Mountains snow switching to rain by midday and then seeing the rain showers wrap up by the evening hours. Breezy conditions in the mountains as well. And that's the same story for Stanley Sun Valley snow showers. Possibility of two to four inches of accumulation on those highest peaks above 6,500 feet when all is said and done. Here's a look at my on your site extended forecast. Watch out for tomorrow morning and Saturday morning wide set spread frost, widespread frost. There we go all across the valley. And then as we head into the beginning of next week, there's the fall we've been looking for. Spencer, Rachel. I'm excited about 